Well, today we're working on an impromptu garden project that I'm really excited about. So it's Saturday morning. I woke up early, grabbed a cup of coffee, and watched the new episode of Gardener's World, which was when they went to Gardener's World Live. And one of the first shots showed this garden bench made of logs, and then it just had a piece of wood on top. And I thought, oh my goodness, I have all the things around the garden to make something like that, but I think I can make it even more meaningful for this garden by using a piece of wood I got recently that says grow in grace. Well, actually it wasn't recently, it might've been three years ago. So I just wanna gather up some stuff that I have around the garden and in the garage and make a bench for Grace's garden. So let's follow Grace, <laughs> maybe she'll lead us over to this piece of wood that I'm thinking of. Check out these lilies before we head back there. The fragrance right now in the garden is so amazing. Oh, I love these lilies so much and they've gotten so tall. I also finally have a vision for what I wanna do around the garden library. That also just hit me this morning. Oh, I feel so relieved. Back here where things just kind of get a little messy and I throw stuff, I have this piece of wood from a friend's flower farm that just says grow and grace. So that's going to be the top of our bench. And then in terms of the logs, this is the firewood that we have left, and this is all wood that just came from the property. I think this is, um, I can tell it's a bird cherry. So I think I'll grab the biggest pieces, and you know what? Maybe we'll use all of it for the bench. I don't know, we'll see. But we're not gonna spend any money on this bench. That's the main thing. And I think where I wanna put it is right near the entrance. I might actually set it right over Harry's grave because I think it would be nice to have a bench right here. So if you sat on this homemade bench, your view would be right here. And one of you sent me this kitty cat for Harry. So maybe we'll put the bench right there, put Harry's stone on top of it, and then this new grace bench, I'll have to think of a better name, this new bench will be right here giving you a beautiful view of the hydrangea room. I'm so excited, let's get started. Well, not only was this garden project fun and free, but it also provided a focal point for the hydrangea room when you walk through it from the other direction, which I don't show you that often. Oh, Grace, are you okay? <laughs> she's so excited about the bench. Actually, she's probably looking for an apple. But 
Isn't this so fun? And I think it fits really well into this garden because this garden back here, which I call Grace's garden, is really informal. All the plants I've either gotten from a friend, family member, or they're just divisions from this garden or our old garden. And it's so funny, but Grace loves to be over by this bench now. <laughs> she hasn't hopped up on it yet. Now, the one that they showed in Gardener's World Live, it had logs, um, a straight line of logs. It didn't have the hole in the middle, but I didn't have enough to do that. But it's stable, it's level, shockingly, on my first try. I don't know how that happened, but I think it looks great. And it adds so much character to the garden that you just couldn't get with something that you purchased at the store. So I can kind of pull you back. You know, it's one of those things that you do, it comes together quickly, easily, and it's free, and you feel like it should have been there all along. It just makes a great sense. And I don't know if that kind of bench would work anywhere else in the garden and look right at home, but there in more of a woodland setting, it looks so beautiful. Well, friends, thanks so much for joining me for this impromptu garden project. I had no plans of doing this today, but sometimes when you see something and you get inspired, I just say go for it, right? Especially if it's free. I would love to hear about some things that you've created for your garden that are unique and special and that didn't cost you anything. Maybe it came from things that you had around the house and the garage and the garden. I think that would be a really fun comment section to read. But for now, Grace and I want to wish you a wonderful day out there in your gardens. Grace, what are you getting around to today? You eating some tiny apples today? We'll see you sometime soon. We'll be back for our garden walk and talks this Saturday. Bye friends.